Welcome to Excel in a minute. The combination of the index and match function has been proven efficient over time, but this duo always gets better. And this time around, it's improved by the switch function. So, stick around and learn how to reinvent the index and match duo. Before jumping into the worksheet, let's review the syntax for each function. Index returns a value inside a table or an array, and it runs on three arguments array, row index number, and column number. On the other hand, match searches for a specific value in a range and returns the relative position of the value in the range. Moreover, match has three arguments, lookup value, lookup array, and match type. Lastly, switch evaluates an expression against a list of values and returns a value that matches the expression. And it runs on four arguments also, expression, value, result, and default result. Here we have a list of employees grouped into two shifts. One group is for the morning shift and the other is for the afternoon. From this data, we created a lookup counter that can return the name of the employee that matches the selected position and shift. And the equation behind this operation is, where the first argument for the index function is a switch equation that evaluates cell J3. If the expression in cell J3 is morning, the index looks up cells A3 to C7. But if the expression switches to afternoon, it looks up cells E3 to G7. Now for the index's second argument, we called the match function, which runs on cell I3 as the lookup value. And another switch equation that has cell J3 as the expression, the values morning and afternoon. However, the third argument of this second switch equation are now cells C3 to C7 and cells G3 to G7, respectively. Closing the match equation, a zero to perform exact matching. Lastly, one is the column index number to instruct the index function to look up the name of employees in column one. Now let's hit enter. As seen in the demonstration, the counter was able to return a correct value for every selected field. That wraps up our lesson. Should you have questions about this lesson, or you want to know more about the index, match, and switch functions, watch the following videos. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.